I'm surprised I didn't ask you guys this yesterday, but you and you. Did you what happened? How did the dance go on Friday? It was good. Brayden. It was good. Picture source right there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, this is the Live and Five show. I'm Maya. And I'm Sean. Can you solve a three by three Rubik's Cube? How about solving it within 10 seconds? What about five? Let's check out how quickly some of the world's fastest Rubik's Cube solvers can solve their cube. Learn more about the new world gaming controller, new video gaming controller in today's hot video. Hot topics! <laughs> we all make bad choices now and then. Find out more on how your pets can too. Stephen Curry's house is divided and we got more baseball and more to come on sports. We've got all this and more right after the break. I am Tesla of California. I am Tetzal of California. We are Tetzal of California. I am Tetzal of California. I am Tetzal of California. I am Tetzal of California. We are Tetzal of California. We are Tetzal of California. No. We are Tetzal of California. Yeah. And we're back. Now it's time to check out what's going on around campus. During this week, including today, we'll be on block schedule due to CASP testing. Be prepared, Trojans, because it's almost time to put your thinking caps on again. Miss Celestino will be composting leftover foods to help her worms thrive. And now you can also help her with this mission during lunch and nutrition in the quad. Library fines have been delivered to you students. Please pay the librarian either before school, during nutrition, lunch, or after school. Again, fines may be repaid before, after school, or during snack or lunch time. On June 4th, from 5.30 to 7 p.m., there will be an award ceremony recognizing the high academic achieving 8th graders. They will be given their medal, which they will also wear on the day of their promotion. Again, congrats to the high achieving 8th graders. Now, 7th graders, the end of the year is almost here, which means it's time to head to John's Incredible Pizza. If you'd like to attend, permission slips must be turned in this Thursday and Friday before school in front of room 305. The trip costs $15 in cash only. Do you want to help your school? Then come on down to Islands on June 5th to help support the Garden Club. 
And that wraps it up for the Tesla play-by-play. -play. Hang out for a while. We'll be back before you can solve a Rubik's Cube. Welcome back. It's time to get into today's hot topics. Recently, the 3x3 world record average, which is the best average for a normal Rubik's Cube, was beaten by Felix Zemdex, an Australian speed cuber with over 100 world records and over 400 gold medals. However, during the period of 2017 to 2019, Felix lost most of his relevance with a handful of people being able to top his skill. However, it seems that Felix has reclaimed his fame with a jaw-dropping 5.69 second world record average. So clearly, we have not seen the last of the most successful speed cuber in history. This controller is not an ordinary Nintendo 64 controller. It takes the recognizable design of the original product. The retro bit has the design of the N64 controller, but it has the D-pad for other games. There are many knockoffs and refurbished units, but the Tribute 64 has the design of the original Nintendo 64 controller. So it has so it is more functional and more familiar to its use. The gaming controller also ditches the old M-shaped controller and the shape of most controllers. Now let's see if our children are smart enough to guess that phrase. Yeah, Bradley. Yeah. Work. Uh, I want to I wanna say shout out to my mom, my dad, for shout making me... Charlie, what are you doing? Work hard, play hard. 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 Play hard. Play Work hard, play hard. Wait, no. Play hard. Play hard, right? I mean my best. Oh, I know, I know, I know. What? Work hard, play hard. He got it. He got it. Wanna get interviewed, Diego? No. Back to you with five and five. Good, Good morning, morning to you. you. This is Shai. And of course, I'm Sai. And welcome back to You Heard It Here. Constance Wu's pet rabbit al allegedly trashed her million dollar penthouse in New York while filming. E! News even claims she is threatened with eviction because her bunny kept leaving little surprises all over the place. Is Constance Wu spending too much of her new money too soon? Or is her pet plotting against her? Mm -hmm, that seems to be the case. But you talk to us on, on Instagram at TetsOffCA. But for now, we have a train to catch all the way down to sports. <laughs> Good morning, Toadies. Welcome to Sports Zone. I'm Shakir. I'm Kyle. And I'm Raiden. So let's get to some Warriors. For basketball news, congratulations to the Golden State Warriors for winning, for being the Western champions. And good luck to them on the NBA Finals. All right, so for the game actually last night, it ended in overtime 119 to 117. And the top scorers for the Warriors were Draymond Green and Stephen Curry. Draymond Green got a triple double. And then Stephen Curry got a triple double. He got 37 points. He balled out. And yeah. We went to some other NBA news. Um, actually, the same game. Uh, the Warrior, parents of the Warriors, um, uh, Steph Curry and Seth, uh, both of their parents, did not have fun watching the game. 
because both their sons were in it, they were like divided. They didn't know which son uh, to go to because they couldn't really choose one over the other as both their sons were playing. So yeah, it's pretty interesting to hear so. And that's today for baseball. We have the Red Sox and Blue Jays playing, the Dodgers and Rays playing, and the Marlins and Tigers. These are only some of the games, there's more games, but that's all the time we have for today. That's us on the World News. Twisters have started to form on Monday in parts of Oklahoma and Texas, which are areas that are under the most serious warning forecasters have issued in two years. The National Weather Service confirmed a large and extremely dangerous tornado in certain areas, and warnings for golf ball-sized hail and flying debris that can cause harm to anyone in shelter. Over two million people are in danger, and the NWS Storm Prediction Center categorized it a level 5 out of 5 while issuing the tornado as a threat on Monday. But it's not just tornadoes waiting to cause havoc. More than 50 million people are at risk of severe weather, like fierce winds, large hail, and flash flooding. Unfortunately, states like Oklahoma, Texas, and Louisiana are still reeling from tornadoes and storms from the weekend. And meteorologist Michael Guy stated that in the past three days, 52 tornadoes were reported across seven states. Pre preparations have already been, been made, with the Tinker Air Force Base evacuating aircraft ahead of the storm and several facilities having shelter-in-place areas for locals. Level 5 out of 5? That's, yeah, that's a tough. really strong tornado right there. But so, tornadoes are like one of the disasters like I want to see in person because tornadoes fascinate me, you know, in like a way. But I know if I, if I go near one, I die. Google it. Yeah, but I'll actually Just watch it on YouTube. No, <laughs> you, want to you could actually, actually do Ooh. one of those like VR simulators. Yeah, yeah but I actually stuff. want to actually do it in person because that's Ooh. going to. So you want to go through a natural disaster? Well, not up close to it. Like, I mean, like from like a tornado, like storm trees. 100 feet from like, it? Yeah, like 100 feet from it. Like watch it from like a distance and being like, ooh. Just do a VR uh, simulator it's or not, Google it's not it. Not real well, enough for me. Now it's time to check out today's FYI. What kind of bee can sting more than once? A bumblebee, a European hornet, a honeybee, or a killer bee? Take five. A European hornet can sting more than once. Now it's time for Did You Know It? Tommy. Tommy, not Lorenzo. I'm back. You're back. I'm back. Finally. I wanted to take your job. No. Yes. All right, so, Lorenzo, you're yes, my guest. Yes, ma'am. So, what are you going to be talking about? Me and Sean. Hi, Sean. We made a handshake um, Friday. No, you don't have to do it. No, you want to. You want to come up? You want to come up, Sean? Want to demonstrate it? Bet. What's everyone doing? Um, it's not actually our handshake. It's actually a handshake from Spider-Man: Homecoming that I taught him how to do. It's good. It's good. So first, one first step, the oh, I forgot, I forgot the name. Classic handshake. Classic. All right, clap, and then the bruh where you turn in like this, right? Second step, go dot the dive. Third step, the falcon. Falcon. Eagle. falcon. Eagle. Avengers thing. Whatever. Eagle. And then and dive the dive again. And then Cap Captain America. You missed. You missed. Who <laughs> cares? All right. Step three, Captain America shield. You missed again. Captain America shield. And then the backhand. Backhand. You missed. Jeez. All right. Then the spider slap. Um, what's after the spider slap? And then the double fist bump. And then that guy. You used the wrong hand. All right. Oh my God. Let's do it without. Let's do it without saying the step. Let's yeah, just do okay. it completely. Yeah. Ooh, I, I forgot. Just out of it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. First the slap, and then the bruh. Dive. Dive. Come back with the falcon. With the falcon. Falcon. And then back. Fist bump. Captain America shield. Backhand. Spider slap. Uh. Fist bump. Fist bump. Use that hand and point each other. Sean, I can do it better. <laughs> you can do it better than you. I know. 
Hey, I'll buy you a water. All right, one more time, one more time. Let's go. All right, you remember the steps? Wait, no. I'll all right, all right I'll, just, I'll just do it really fast. Um, Hand, bruh, dive, talcon, Captain America shield, backhand, backhand, fighter slap, fist bump, fist bump, that guy. We did it. It's good. All right, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see everyone back here tomorrow morning.